Hey everybody, we are here today doing a simple tenotomy and capsulotomy, which basically is for a hammer toe. That is at least semi-reducible or ideally reducible, meaning that we can straighten the toe out. This gentleman has been suffering from a callus to the tip of his toe. How long has it been here? About two weeks. About two weeks. Um, this, we trimmed it off a few days ago and it was really thick to the point where it was getting actually ready to ulcerate. So my goal would be to clip, you can see how tight that skin is here on the bottom. I'm going to do a stab incision to release the tendon to allow that toe to straighten up just enough to get the tip of this toe off of the ground. Because especially in diabetes, you do not want to have anything that could potentially um, get a bone infection. You know, once we get that callus, the uh, callus breaks down and that's when the, uh, the uh, skin opens up. That's called an ulcer. And then constant pressure, uh, the ulcer gets bigger. The bone is right underneath in this area. So then the bone gets infected. And then once that bone gets infected, off goes the toe. So we've already got you numbed up. What we're gonna do is just make a small stab incision. The incisions are so small, you actually don't even need a stitch when we're done. How's that feel? Any pain? Not yet. Well, don't jinx me. All right, feel a little crunch, gristle. I wish you could hear this. There we go. And you're gonna go home and stay off of this. I've got your work excuse. So you really only need to be off of for the whole week. just for the week exactly I can just feel it crunching and the blade is there we go now look at that much looser you could immediately feel a release so once I hit the tendon I'm getting the capsule right underneath it so the capsule basically surrounds the joint itself and then it just completely relaxed now you do you do still have some contracture and the joint itself, that's kind of bony adaptation. I can't do anything about that here. That's when we kind of take you into the operating room, but this is a simple procedure that takes, you know, I don't know how many minutes we're on now, but I'm almost done. Just kind of verifying that I got everything. And a lot of this is feel. You know, you can just kind of feel, but now it's loose. It was not loose before. Everything was tightening up. Got one little piece there. Okay, good deal. Look at this. Not even a drop of blood. So we went from that toe that was rigid like this, setting him up for an ulcer, to now whenever he stands up, it's going to help straighten out. So today what we're going to do is just now splint it in a position to hold it down as much as we possibly can. So I'm going to take my little, little wet here. Let's so this is just basically betadine soaked bandage. And betadine is a great antibacterial and what we call a drying agent. So it's gonna dry this area out. And so once the betadine dries, it's gonna be stiff. That's why I told you, don't take this off because you're gonna mess up my work. Okay. So, do a little here. And the big thing when you're splinting these and whenever it hardens is that we want to make sure that it stays all the way at the base of the toe here because I want to pull this down at this joint. When he comes back in a week, we are going to start some physical therapy, show you how to use our um, toe alignment splint. Uh, and then you'll be doing some physical therapy at home. So all this can be done in the comfort of your own home. Okay, again, look how much better. Just, all right. Get a little here on the bottom. Kind of looks a little crazy, but it works. So now we're gonna weave it, the gauze in a fashion in between the toes. How you doing so far? You feel anything? Um, just on the bottom of my foot. Where I'm right in here yeah yeah, yeah. that's because i'm yanking that down yeah. so i'm really encouraging so the release we do is at the ip joint um there's a joint right behind it it's called the metatarsal phalangeal joint or the mp joint right in here i'm really trying to encourage this downward motion 
to allow that to straighten out. There we go. And so that's the, that's the area that we're really going to be focusing on whenever you uh, return in a week. So you're going to leave this bandage on. Again, do not remove it. I'm going to get stuck on your toenail here. Okay, pull everything down. And then in a week, you can go back to work. You can do whatever you want. Your toenails are not cooperating with me. Okay. So if anybody has any questions or comments below on are you a good candidate, um, please let me know. I'm happy to comment. But ideally, this gentleman will no longer suffer from his callus and then um, be at risk for an ulcer to this toe. So let's relax that foot for me. There we go. The more relaxed you are, the easier I can manipulate that okay. foot. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Oh, no, you're fine. Okay. okay. I guess I was anticipating. And they kept it stiff. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's natural to do I that. I didn't know what to expect. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. So then, now we've got our gauze on there. Just put a little ace bandage. Now this layer, if you want to, if you feel it's too tight, um, feel free to loosen it up, but reapply it. It's really important because it's giving us compression. And anytime we're doing any type of foot surgery in the foot, we always want to make sure we start closest to me or a furthest away from the foot, closest to the toe, and then we work our way back towards you. What that's gonna do is help um, prevent any swelling um, kind of being trapped down towards the tip of the toes. That can be very, very, very painful. So we'll just get you wrapped up around here. And you don't need a boot or anything crazy like that. We're just gonna get you in a simple hard sole post-op shoe. This is gonna help prevent any motion from the shoe, like if you were in a regular tennis shoe, something that bends here really easily. See, this, this thing is bending. Actually, um, when my grandfather was a podiatrist, I even saw them having wooden post-op shoes, because you imagine, I mean, that's how important it was not to move and have any flexibility to the sole of the shoe. Um, though they used to be wooden, so thank you, uh, technology. Although my dad's family is in the wood business, maybe uh, <laughs> maybe he'd give me a deal and, and get some new uh, post op shoes, bring it back. Okay, get you tightened up here. So all I want you to do is go home, kick this up in the air. You can rest some, um, you know, frozen peas or if you have a gel pack or something like that on the top and bottom, uh, just make sure you don't get you know, the bandage wet or anything like that. If you do, it's okay. I'm not gonna, you know, uh, beat you. <laughs> oh, I don't have a paddle. But come back in, we'll change the um, dressing for you. Um, and then give us a in call. In a week? Yes, you, we're gonna schedule you in one week. Okay. Um, but like I said, if you have any issues or more pain, any... Well, you said don't get it wet, so I guess when I get ready to take a shower, I better put a bag over it. Yes, put a bag over top of it, and if you <coughs> want to secure it, you know, okay. with a nice rubber band or anything right. to keep it dry. But if something happens, then absolutely call us and come in sooner, okay. and we will um, take care of it. So, all in all, how long did that take from start to finish? About nine minutes. Nine minutes? That's not bad. Hammer toe gone. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.